For the real 411 on the foods that will put you in the mood, we are joined by the senior editor of Health Magazine, Francis Largeman Roth. Good to have you with us once again. Always good to see you. Good morning. Okay, we're going to play a little game here, okay? Because uh, we're, we're trying to put a little bit of the... Um, the fun, the pizzazz back in some of these foods that you oh, would look yeah. at and think, okay, maybe kind of boring. So we'll play a little game here. With each food, you're going to tell me why is it healthy and then why does it help sexually, okay? Perfect, Chris. Let's start with the avocado. Okay, monounsaturated fats, okay. very healthy for your heart, good in the bedroom because if you don't have a healthy heart, that blood is not going to pump to the right place. And studies show that men with underlying heart disease mm. have twice as much erectile dysfunction. Really? Yes. So when you're watching the Super Bowl next Sunday and you see that first Cialis ad, go for the guacamole. Guacamole. Got Come it. on. All right. Got that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> We're here for you. Let's talk about almonds right now. Almonds. These are rich in a lot of minerals okay. and also vitamins, including vitamin E. Vitamin E is very important for testosterone production, okay. which is important for not only male but female sex drive. Really? So not only healthy for you, but also pretty good for the libido as well. Absolutely. Probably wouldn't have thought of that with almonds. I don't no. think many would have. Strawberries, uh, there's probably something a little bit sensual about strawberries, but I'm sure there's more to it than just that. Right, they're gorgeous. The red color tends to turn men on. Okay. Great dipped in chocolate, but also they're a good source of folic acid, which is not only important for a healthy baby, also important for those swimmers, guys. Really? Yeah. Strawberries, really? Strawberries. They increase male sperm count. Well, you is that need correct? them for healthy sperm. Healthy sperm count. Uh, figs. These just figs. don't look. Uh, they don't look attractive. Well, at all, you know so you're what? Gonna, you're gonna have to sell me on this. Get these. them in the summertime when they're fresh, and then they're really gorgeous. But uh, even when they're not fresh, they're really rich in fiber, and fiber helps control your weight. If you look good, you're gonna feel better and a lot more confident in that bedroom. You got it. And citrus here. You got some Citrus. grapefruits, got some oranges. These are all in season right now, which mm -hmm. is so fantastic. These cara cara oranges are gorgeous. Very high in vitamin C. Again, you need that for for um, for sperm development. So it's very important for male sexual health. And seafood. I think the the um, the longstanding myth has been oysters are a great aphrodisiac. Is there any truth to that? It's absolutely true, Chris. Uh, they are a, a top top source of zinc, which again super important for testosterone production, male and female, uh, we both need them. Yeah. So 32 milligrams for only eight oysters. And what about the salmon? I mean, I know it's got the omega-3s, which are essential from a health standpoint. That's right. But, but from a for sexuality standpoint. You know, again, it gets back to your circulation. If you're not, if your heart's not healthy and your blood is not pumping, you are going to really um, see that in the bedroom. Yeah, now, as far as other foods and things like that that we don't have here on the table, are there any other kind of bellwether foods that, that help both from a healthy standpoint and a sexuality standpoint, or is this basically these are the the top vote -getters. Well, you know, asparagus is another good one. It's a great source of vitamin E. So again, it goes back to the testosterone production. And then really whatever puts you in the mood, a glass of champagne, a little yep. sparkly stuff, that might do the trick. And some candles never hurt either, right? That's right. <laughs> Francis Hodgman-Roth, thank you very much. Good to see you.